these leads can be super slippy on a slope and make you slide and lose your stability This might be one of the best trees in Truro. Hmm. <coughs> this is very slippy. All right, I'll do that for this. I've slowed, <clears throat> I've slowed down uh, my fitness in terms of running over the last three weeks. And it's, I think as you get older, not only is it harder to get fit, I think, starting from some kind of norm, but it's also, you lose, especially cardiovascular, I'm not so much sure about muscles but yeah probably muscles as well you lose it quite quickly much quicker even i remember is it 10 years ago started running less and i could kind of maintain kind of baseline fitness even with a kind of a big drop off in exercise over two weeks Whereas now it's about two days. <laughs> so that over there, in a very distance beyond the cathedral, I don't know how good the nightlight stuff is on this. I think that's St Agnes Beacon. Umbrays down there, I think behind the trees. Yeah. So a couple of summers ago, my domestic assistant decided it would be good to, where did that go? To have a running machine and we got one on Facebook Marketplace for about 150 quid and I was a bit like uh, we had one once before we've got a dog Jace it's not like I'd use it and I love being I mean this as opposed to running in, in your house is a very different thing and what I've been doing it for for a few months is just snacking on it in the sense of sprinting I think the science is pretty in that regular high intensity, low uh, stress sprints are probably the best exercise you can do. And on a running machine, you can kind of literally get up and before anything else, in one minute, get so out of breath. I remember, I think it was Dave Asprey talking about run as if a bear is chasing you and uh, 
yeah I think that getting out of breath you can feel it sets you up the day for the day differently it's a bit like cold showers it has a similar effect to me except I absolutely loathe cold showers I think there are different phenotypes or genotypes whichever one it is responsible for cold tolerance and cold hormesis and all this stuff and um, I'm definitely in the group that doesn't doesn't seek it whereas I have friends who for many years have sought it as in they regularly do it So, sprinting, squatting, standing, hanging. I think if you had 20 pounds to spend on the best piece of equipment for you and your family or whatever's health, then having a pull-up bar in a doorway uh, is, you can get them for like a tenner on, in Argos or eBay, but I think it's worth, worth splashing out and spending 20 pounds on, um, on a pull-up bar that just goes in your door frames or in other such places. Because, again, hanging. Jace, ch -ch -ch. hanging is exercise and stretching. Jace, Jace, Jace. And it leads into pull-ups and chin-ups and all that stuff quite naturally, quite kind of intuitively. Which way now, modern man? I think we're going to go this way. Okay. I'm getting doggy assist, which I don't mind so much going uphill. But downhill, when it's wet and slippery. Stop it, Jace. He just doesn't listen. Okay. complex here is an old TB hospital or asylum I think it's a TB hospital um, where does this go down here that is now loads of residences it's very lovely in there it's ginormous okay top has to come off there we go actually much easier than I thought even whilst the camera is mounted upon my bonds okay which way is it Jace? Jace knows it's not is it that way? no it's, it's down here I think
Aha! He has found the secret entrance to the magical river valley. Dun dun dun! Most valleys have got rivers in, which I don't think people have noticed. If you look at a valley on a map, it's got a river in. And that can't just be a coincidence. It can't just be like, how would... Oh, where's he gone? Jason! Yeah, that can't be a coincidence. It's, um, it doesn't make any sense. There must be some kind of cause. Maybe if the valley is steep enough, the sides, water kind of oozes out the sides and fills into the river. Something like that. Right. Jace, Jace. People often say, how do you train him so well? And it's zen, it's all very zen. He comes back by going forwards, as you can see. He might not look very zen, but zen doesn't look zen. Chase, come here, come here, lead. Jason, lead, lead, lead. That was quite good. He absolutely knows what it means, but are oh, you, come here. Okay, onwards. Is it this way? Do 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 do. No, it's this way. I just feel a bit weird running by people with this camera on my head. It's like. Yeah, I know we're being filmed absolutely everywhere. Um, and I know you have no right to privacy in a public place. And all this stuff about you have to consent and all of that is just not what the law says. I mean, should you be able to put your camera, your phone or whatever, in someone's face and record them maybe not at their best and then put that on the internet I saw a video today it just made me think of this of someone giving someone a bad time in a way that I'm pretty sure they will think oh, I lost the game there and that wasn't that wasn't me at my best I'm sure we've all been there. Um, uh, where are we? Jason! So, it, do, you, do we want to live in a society where if you have an argument with someone... Uh, no, not that way, Jace, wherever you are. Jace! Jason! Do you want to live in a society where anyone can film people in public? I don't know if there's a distinction between like adults and toddlers and all of that in terms of what you can film. Although I'm very big into freedom of speech, I'm not, I don't feel... Uh, the same. It's like I've always thought, you know, this kind of, uh, it seems to be a cultural trend of photographing celebrities in uh, states where they're not looking quite so celebrated, which everyone has probably most of their life. You know, it's just like the normal, where, where are you? The normal, un, 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 Jason, come here. No, no, no. J -j 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 Jason, Jason. The normal mode of uh, 
human activity is not necessarily something the way everyone would want to be filmed. And of course, it's ego, ego and all of that stuff. But I do think that is something that probably could be uh, discussed and philosophised on more. You know, freedom of speech. Protect so freedoms and protections are two different things, aren't they? Protection from being filmed without consent in public. I mean, you could also totally argue that you might film yourself for safety. That happens an awful lot. And why not? And, you know, that's clearly a good thing. It's complex and maybe in places quite deep. But I think probably it is like freedom of speech that, you know, public photography is not a crime or shouldn't be a crime here. And that, I, and that like freedom of speech, I guess, means total. If you're in public, you are consenting to be seen by the public. And I guess you extrapolate by consenting to be recorded. But now it's got noisy and polluted, so I'm going to um, close this off and breathe through my nose and all that stuff. Bye!